So everybody's on here showing their Easter baskets they're making for their kids. And I don't have small children any any longer. They're, they're all grown and have left home. And I don't do Easter baskets for them anymore. I don't know, they'd probably like if I did, but since I have grandkids now, they get the baskets. So I was gonna just kind of show you what I put in my grandkids' baskets. This is my granddaughter's. She is almost three. She's not quite three yet. Of course, bubbles every year. I got this little cute thing. I, you don't really know for sure what kind of animal it's gonna be until you open it and unroll it. So I got that. And the rest is pretty much just candy. I don't do a ton of stuff in my grandkids' baskets because they have parents. And I let the parents do the big stuff. So this was my granddaughter's. My two grandsons, my, my two older grandsons, one is six and one of them is about to turn eight. They got the same exact thing. So I'm gonna show you theirs. Their toy, I've got them two of these little mini brands eggs. They love these. So they got two of those. And the rest of it's candy and, of course, bubbles. Then my youngest grandson is two. He loves Mario. He just went to see the movie last night, so he got the little Mario toy. And the bubbles and the candy and the same thing that the other ones got. I have a granddaughter that went to heaven this year and this would have been her first Easter. I don't like to not do something to acknowledge her. So she gets a book and some bubbles that, can, that we can, you know, blow at her graveside. And we always have a little special guest that comes. She's my daughter-in-law's little sister, she usually comes and is with us on Easter. So she got this little notebook and this little doodle pad and some candy. And we have an Easter egg hunt for the grandkids. But anyways, I just wanted to show you my grandkids' baskets. There's all the filled eggs that we'll be hiding here in just a little bit. 